Go, bro, it's green. You see the little black birdie next to that camera there? Well, that's actually an Opticom receiver. I build intersections for a living and I've installed hundreds, if not thousands of those Opticom receivers. And I'll tell you what that man has in his hand is a tick tracer or voltage tester. So you can touch that to a hot cable and see if there's any electricity running through that cable. Voltage tester will not change the traffic lights. You need an Opticom transmitter, which range about $3,000, and you need to be either a government or a certified buyer. So for us, we do have a couple, but we gotta go through our supplier to get them and they do cost about $3,000 a piece. Inside of this traffic signal controller cabinet, we have two Opticom amplifiers. So as a fire truck drives through this intersection and is hitting these lights here, it is sending that signal all the way back to the amplifier, which is then hardwired directly into this controller through these pin connectors. So once those Opticoms get tripped, this will alert it and tell it that we need a green light over there and demand that green light for a set amount of time to allow that fire truck or ambulance to clear through this intersection. I hope you enjoyed this little inside look into the fascinating world of traffic signals. And as always, thanks for watching.